creativity is so much more than making something. It's creativity is like how we interact with each other. It's, it's like trying to insist that you're alive. There's kind of two kind of creative phases and one is kind of more of an open phase and one's more of a closed phase. And the open phase is where you're just kind of like t ingesting and taking in. It's like you're, you know, whatever, you're impregnating your brain with an idea and it needs to sort of gestate. It's almost like I'm waiting as long as I can before I actually start writing. All of that looks like from the outside, me sitting on my couch or watching TV or watching movies or reading books or, walking around that neighborhood or I don't know, like picking my butt. It looks like I'm just doing nothing. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm just procrastinating. Oh, I gotta get work done. And I'm like beating myself up for not actually feeling like I'm working, but there's a point to procrastination. I see the cycles of being really productive and then going through these periods where I'm just kind of, it seems like I'm just like literally sitting around my house staring at the walls. Especially if someone else is like living with you and it, and like witnessing it, they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, shut up, I'm working. And I'm just <laughs> sitting on the couch, just staring into space. I don't know, I feel like things that are more original come after like kind of really, you get inside the character's head, you you imagine certain details. It's like a, you're building a world and the world needs to be built out. Once I start writing, it's like this, it feels like the idea is as fully born in my head as possible. The close phase is like where you're like, this is the idea and now I need to do it. And it's like getting a fever where you're like, I am, I am now gonna live and breathe this thing until it's done. I'm inspired. I don't know, sometimes I'll be with other writers and they're like, you have to do your 10 pages or you have to like, you know, like writing is labor, it's pain. It is labor, but to me it's like, it should be fun. You should be excited to get back to the computer. If you're not excited to get back to the computer, then maybe something's fundamentally wrong with your ideas. You're writing about something else maybe. I don't know, I've been working right now and like I'll get up at like around 6 a.m. I don't really write at night. So there's like a good chunk of stuff in the middle of the day and then around like five or something, I'm like, I feel like I've hit the wall and I can't sit at the computer anymore. I like to know what I'm gonna be writing the next day before I stop um, working. I don't like to wake up and be like, okay, what am I doing today? Because, you know, there's something about sleeping too. <laughs> You're wrestling with stuff in your head and so if you, if you kind of know, okay, this is what I'm approaching the next day. By the time you wake up in the morning, there is stuff that you're like, oh yeah, I could do this and that. that. Every story has been told in a sense, but not really. I do think that if what you're doing is approaching screenwriting as a way to make money, it closes off the po your possibilities toward a certain kind of originality. But if you walk away from that, if you start thinking like, oh, is this gonna sell? Are people gonna like this? Is this gonna make me, you know, I don't know, on the Variety's 10 screenwriters to watch list or whatever, some bullshit like that. Like, then like, I don't know, it's almost hard not to write something original, honestly. It doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be good, but it's, but it's original. I just think it's important to, that you are trying to say something, that there is something that you are actually trying to express through the work. You need to be conscious of the pleasure of your story. Like, why are you getting off on telling this story? I get off on like creating an emotion in people that is like different. Like where people are like, I like existential type of movies where it's really about what am I doing with my life? and that your attempt to find meaning comes in conflict with the world around you. Because it's like that, you know, you look at the answers other people have found and they feel like not enough.